to bring anything forward, you bring them forward, right? Okay, are we ready? Uh, good evening and welcome to the council meeting of the town of Newmarket on Monday, May the 5th. All members of council are present. Mayor Van Bynen is presiding. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Uh, there are no matters of uh, public notice. We do have additions and corrections to the agenda. As explained earlier, we, we are... Uh, We are, we've been asked to withdraw item number 19, which is a, uh, a deputation from the uh, York Region Center for Community Safety. Uh, we, we've also, uh, will be withdrawing item number 28 from the Committee of the Whole, and that relates to bill number 69, Prompt Payments Act. And as explained earlier by our acting CAO, uh, this relates to the the uh, dismissal of, of uh, the provincial government, and we also have a replacement of page 5, 6, and 7 of the Committee of the Whole of April the 28th. Could I have a motion, please, to amend the agenda? Councillor Emanuel, Councillor DiMuccio, all those in favour? Now we have to remember to... <laughs> What's happened to my screen? Okay. All right. Yeah. No, I, I, I opened the screen. You opened the screen. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. That is carried. Um, are there any declarations of pecuniary interest? Being none, uh, we have some presentations. Uh, the first presentation is from Mr. Dan Arnold of the Newmarket Car Club. Mr. Arnold, if you could come forward and commit up to five minutes. My name is Robert Gardner. I'm the treasurer of the Newmarket Car Club. Um, to my right is Dan Arnold. He's our club president. And to my left is, uh, <coughs> I've forgotten your last name, <laughs> Bruce Westerby. I was going to call you Willerby. How's that? Okay. Bruce Westerby, who is uh, responsible for public relations. The Newmarket Car Club is celebrating 40 years as a not-for-profit group working not only in support of our hobby, but in support of our community. The club has enjoyed an excellent working relationship with the staff of Newmarket in helping our club with many of its projects over the years. And I'm sure that some, if not all of you, will remember the derbies the club used to sponsor, as well as our Main Street Car Show uh, that has become a yearly event thanks to the Downtown Business Association and the Town of Newmarket. Our members, like other organizations, have other hobbies as well as an interest in custom and classic automobiles, and one of them, Mr. Bruce Westerby, is an artist with paint and canvas. Bruce has an intense interest in New Market's history, and in particular, the history of Main Street. After doing much research, Bruce has produced a painting of Main Street circa 1890, and in celebration of our 40 years as a club, and a thank you to the, for the town's help and cooperation <coughs> with our projects, over the years, the club would like to present this painting to the town. It is our hope that the town will accept this painting in the spirit in which it is given, and we look forward to working together over the next 40 years. Thank you very much. Thank you. The mayor. On behalf of council, I'll come over. Mr. I'll come around. Many cars there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. That's uh, the original horsepower, if you will. <laughs> okay. Let's have a look. I'll pass this around to members of council. Yeah. Do we have a? Oh, there we are. Sure. Please come forward. Let's have members of council join us then for a photo taken to uh, commemorate this. He has. Here we go. 
We got it? No? Yep, we got it. Okay. One. We'll get back up a little more here. Okay. One, two, three. And I'll just do one more. One, two, three. Perfect. Thank you. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. We'll hang this up in our hall. There may be some uh, people who might want to make some comments before oh, you go. Right. Might, might invite that. Leave that there. <laughs> we have uh, have not yet received the uh, deputation. Are there any questions or comments, Councillor Cohen? <coughs> yes, uh, Mr. Mayor. The uh, the New Market Car Club. Uh, I must say that I go back the full forty years. <laughs> uh, and Danny, it's been a pleasure to work with the group and. Uh, you're still active and you operate out of the Legion, which is in Ward 2. And uh, I must say those, uh, <laughs> the first Rama was, uh, was held down on the, in the fairgrounds. And uh, it was our first and last one there. And, uh, mm -hmm. and then we moved it over to uh, by the office specialty building. Mm -hmm. And we operated there for many years. And uh, I can't thank you enough for uh, all the breakfasts and so forth that you've hosted. and. Uh, the Recoramas and the Derbies and uh, all the goodness you've done for the town. It's just been incredible and it's been a pleasure to work with you all those years and uh, we became personal friends over those many years. So I thank your executive and I, I saw that when we celebrated the Christmas party. It was on the wall in the Legion. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Sponga. Mayor, uh, Dan, thank you so much uh, for everything you guys do in the community. Um, as the chair of the New Market Food Pantry, I just want to thank you because uh, the New Market Car Club is uh, the unofficial uh, delivery um, logistics uh, system for the food bank. You guys move us, you guys pick up food, uh, everything else, and deliver for us. So thank you so much. Uh, you just don't uh, showcase wonderful old cars, and uh, you also put them to very good use. Thank you so much. Thank you. Any other questions? Motion to receive. Councillor Kerwin, seconded by Councillor Sponga. All those in favor, that is carried. We really appreciate what you do. Um, you know, the Canada Day festivals, the breakfasts, uh, and especially a lot of the uh, clubs that you sponsor. Uh, that's really important for the community, and, uh, and we really appreciate what you've been doing. So the car club has been a large part of our history, and we hope that uh, we can continue that relationship. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, all those in favor? Use your monitors as well, please. Great. And that is carried. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Item number two in deputations. Uh, we had had that withdrawn, and now we have uh, Mr. Todd Kyle, the Chief Executive Officer of the Newmarket Public Library, to bring forward the library strategic plan and to provide us with an up update. Normally we provide five minutes. Would that be sufficient? Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, good evening, Mayor and members of Council. Um, I am pleased to present the New Market Public Library's uh, first annual report to the community, which details its successes in the first year of its uh, strategic plan uh, covering the period 2013 to 2016. During this period, uh, the transformation of the library's role in the community has accelerated rapidly, uh, and I am uh, pleased to report that we really are truly becoming the center of learning and of dialogue that was envisioned by the plan. Uh, a couple of examples of things. We have established Idea Market uh, as a monthly dialogue to discuss important community matters. We invite members of the community to give us input into topics and into speakers and let us know what ideas they have. Also, we are now offering a range of computer instruction programs, loans of devices such as laptops and e-readers, and work and learning equipment such as an interactive whiteboard and our new youth media center, which we invite the community to help us name. Um, we also now offer downloadable e-books, music, 
magazines uh, with more online services to come. We invite the community to discover those as well. I'm not going to go through the entire, uh, entire report, um, but if anybody does want to read it, uh, residents who want to read it in detail, they can download it from uh, newmarketpl.ca. And I thank this council very much for its support, and I'm open to any questions you might have. Thank you. Councillor Vane. Thank you. Um, thank you very much, Todd. Um, and in particular, one of the things I find really exciting and that's something that is uh, lacking a bit of buzz is our ideas market. And we're having some, uh, quite a number of controversial issues, which, which is great. Um, perhaps, uh, uh, perhaps you can just tell the public a couple of things that uh, we've had at our ideas market and what they can expect coming up, uh, um, because it's absolutely fas fascinating what's happening there. Sure, it's been an absolutely uh, uh, terrific initiative. Some of the topics we have already discussed were uh, poverty and homelessness, um, the uh, potential legalization of drugs in Canada, and uh, also prostitution, which is the most recent one. Some of the ones coming up um, in the month of May, the uh, topic will be Why Vote, the municipal election coming up. That's a program uh, presented in cooperation with the York Region Media Group. Uh, and we hope, um, hopefully coming in, up in September, to have a program on food security uh, in conjunction with the uh, York Region Food Network. Thank you. Okay. Councillor Kerwin? Yes. Uh, Todd, what I uh, do like, and your staff will know that I'm there regularly Saturday mornings uh, until about one or two, and I really love the use we've uh, started to make of the uh, of the downstairs. I love to see the youngsters uh, learning and playing chess. I think that's that's that really uh, shows you the vivaciousness of our library, but also now more and more there's uh, um, educators uh, in the basement uh, teaching young kids uh, Kumon math or uh, English as a second language, and uh, you've created uh, uh, private rooms for that, and uh, then the larger room, uh, you reorganize the downstairs, which makes it more useful, and uh, I really thank you, because uh, I use it a lot. That's where I've been meeting with my residents for the last, uh, uh, oh, I guess I've met there about 10 Saturdays. Uh, I'll be back there again on the... Uh, on the 16th uh, in the morning, and then that will be my last one basically until um, the, uh, the fall because of the weather. But I really like the, the activity, and of course the computers are, are heavily used. Uh, I think uh, every, every station is used, so I like the change of the format. You make it uh, more current and uh, a vision for the future, and uh, uh, I compliment your staff, and I thoroughly enjoy working with them. They're always polite, and uh, they greet you at the door when you come in. So thanks Thank you. for the Thank innovations. You. Thank, you. Thank you. Regional Councillor. Yeah, I'd be really quick just to say that uh, the uh, going through the uh, strategic planning process that uh, the, the board did together, was a, it was a great process. And there's a lot of, I think it's important to note, there's a lot of public consultation involved and a lot of feedback that, that was received throughout this. And I think that the result, uh, idea market being sort of the, the symbolic result of the idea of repositioning the library as a center of, of debate, conversation, learning. Uh, has been uh, has been very successful, and so I encourage uh, residents to uh, to have a look at the strategic plan, or just to visit online the library, or go to the library and rediscover some of the, the new exciting things that are happening there, because it, it really is changed in a lot of uh, exciting ways. Thanks, Todd. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Sponga. Thank you. Um, it's very exciting. It's it's a hub, uh, a, a community hub uh, for uh, the downtown, and uh, it's the center of Ward Five. To so to see so many people always gather around the library, it's just fantastic. But uh, to see the library actually come out of the library and go out in the community, and I don't know how many communities can boast to have a library at the farmer's market, that is something incredible. Um, and so maybe, I think you're going to be at the farmer's market every third Saturday of the month. So, and I, right. I know it's uh, something that, um, uh, being a volunteer at the market, I get asked all the time, when is the library coming? And they look forward to um, looking at books and uh, all the programs that are being uh, promoted there, so kudos to you guys. You're doing a great job. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I see from the report that you've extended a book drop-off into the Upper Canada Mall. Um, and uh, That's correct. Uh, when I see over the last 10 years the transformation the library's gone through, I think it's a credit to the board and to the senior staff there in terms of uh, responding to the shift in the community, uh, the, the shift towards technology uh, and maximizing that and, uh, and dealing with contemporary issues, which is... Uh, credit to you and to the board, and I want to thank you for that. 
Thank you. Uh, there being no further questions, could we have some motion to receive? Councillor Emanuel, seconded by Regional Councillor. All those in favor? Don't forget your buttons. Thank you. Our next deputation is Mr. Glenn Murray. Glenn is no stranger to our council, and he's here to speak to us about the uh, Aurora United Church Benefit Concert. We permit up to five minutes. Is that sufficient for you, Glenn? Okay. Byron and counselors. Um, my name is Glenn Murray. I come here this evening as a long-standing member of Aurora United Church. Uh, I grew up in Aurora, but I have been proud to call Newmarket my home for the last seven years and I've truly grown to love our town and the community spirit that we have here. On Friday, April the 11th, at approximately 10.30 a.m., a fire broke out at Aurora United Church during a roof repair and spread through the roof into the main building, which as we all know, led to the eventual loss and now demolition of a beloved building, cultural and, and town landmark. The church, which was first built in 1878 by Harry, Henry Langley in the Gothic revival style and was recently renovated in 2009. The loss of our spiritual home, place of worship, friendship and community has been truly devastating and left many of us feeling adrift with a great sense of personal loss. And although buildings can be restored, in our case it will need to be rebuilt, we are all feeling a deep sadness over this event. I have come here this evening to ask the Council of the Town of Newmarket to consider allowing our church community to host a charitable concert at the Newmarket Theatre. I believe in my heart that we all need to come together in a celebration of hope and community fellowship in a powerful and positive partnership that will resonate and send hope throughout not just our church congregation but the entire region of York. I believe that we stand together in times of great need and by each other's sides. Just as our ancestors did years ago when buildings burnt to the ground and all would come together to rebuild and renew, I'm asking for us now to stand together and help our church to raise money for the reconstruction of a new building and more importantly to send a strong united message of community hope and good faith between towns, families and municipal representatives. As a local musician, character educator, philanthropist and businessman, I've hosted several events at the New York Newmarket Theatre and have had nothing but great experiences there, whether fundraising for the Stephen Lewis Foundation or hosting events for schools in our community. I have a strong personal faith in our two communities and hope that together we can unite and help our church to build a new home and raise the spirits of a congregation and its people. Um, I, I, I am aware of the unusualness of coming to out of Newmarket to ask for a charity event for a building that was lost in Aurora, but I also am very familiar with, with the theater and recognize that there, is, there isn't a comparable venue in Aurora that can hold 400 people with the staff and facilities to easily put together an event of, of the size that I'm hoping to, to put together. I don't have a timeline as far as when it is to be held, I, I am completely open to the possibility of working with existing schedules at the theater. But I am, um, I, I really do believe that this could help because we are really devastated by this. Thank you. Thank you. I have uh, Councillor Emanuel. Uh, thank you, Glenn, and and, uh, and to your co-presenters as well. Uh, <laughs> uh, it, you know, you're obviously very touched, but I think all of us were touched that day. Mm -hmm. uh, when we saw it and, and like church attendants and congregations they don't know boundaries and I know many new market residents that do attend that church and and uh, it has affected I think many in the community so I think one thing this council could look at I know it may be eligible for community grant through our uh, recreation program but if not uh, 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 maybe we could refer it there uh, uh, but uh, for consideration but if not I know many of us would step up to help uh, uh, fundraise those costs uh, so that uh, you'll be able to 
uh, have it for free there. So I think many would step up uh, in that regard. But I believe it may be considered uh, through our community grant program as a first time event. Uh, so um, if others aren't speaking, perhaps we could refer the matter to, because there's no direct immediate timeline, uh, staff can report back to you and to council on how this could con uh, be considered through that program. So I would move that. Okay. All right. Um, so as the second or the motion, did you want to speak to that, Councillor? Uh, I think Councillor Maria said it. Okay. Thank All right. You. Thank you. I have uh, Councillor Twinney in the queue. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Murray. Thank you for coming today. Um, it was, uh, I, it was definitely a very sad day. I ended up being there that day when the firefighters were fighting the fire and the amount of residents that came out um, saddened by and seeing their church burning. Um, it was certainly something that was very emotional for so many people and uh, you know, so many memories. Like you said, yeah. it was a building, but it's not just a building. It, it was um, so many memories of baptisms, of weddings <laughs> of funerals just you mean and mm -hmm. uh, funny enough um i was speaking to uh some of the firefighters afterwards at another event last week that were there in attendance and one of them he, he said to me how it was the most um emotional thing that he has ever experienced as a firefighter yeah. um, with you know the burning of this church so my heart goes out to you and the community and I agree with uh, Councillor Manuel. Whatever, whatever ask it is, we need to be here. Like you said, a community needs to come together, and this is something definitely that we need to come together and support you in any way that we can. A fundraiser is wonderful. I think the New Market Theatre would be a, a great place to have it, mm -hmm. and uh, I know we would be all there in support. And however, you know, we can do to um, make sure that whatever fees are involved in having this uh, event put on, that we are there to support you. And uh, I look forward to it. And uh, and any help that uh, we can give you, I you know, all of us will we will be there. So um, thank again, you. thank you for coming to us tonight. I think it's uh, it's a great opportunity for for the town of Newmarket to help yeah. our sister town, the town of Aurora, get through all this this horrible time. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Councillor Sponga. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, Glenn, thank you so much. And and out of adversity, there's always you know that that silver lining, that um, flicker of hope um, that comes out of it. And uh, um, when I saw you um, making a deputation here tonight, um, um, I quickly realized that if there's a, a glimmer of hope in, in raising those funds and, um, and um, getting the job done, uh, you're the right guy. I saw you in your role as educator, and I think um, you managed to get about 200 kids um, and their parents to do something like more than 2,000 acts of kindness in like less than a week so if there's anything you, that anyone that could do it you're the guy who can do it so uh, definitely support you on this um, thank you so much for doing it thank you we, we actually did over 10,000 10,000 yes yeah. So, <laughs> yeah you're an amazing and that's guy school of 280 well if you did that if you got you know if you were able to get 10,000 acts of kindness in that short amount of time I just can't imagine how much how many dollars you're going to be able to raise and you know given thank time you. you need good luck Thank you. So we do have the motion, and the motion is that the deputation be received um, and that the matter be referred to staff for consideration under the community grants program um, and other options that council might consider. All those in favor? Now we need to wait for the queue. There we go. Okay, and that's carried unanimously. Thank you very much, Glenn. And Thank you, everyone, it's great for to your see. kind words. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Great to see you engaged, and, uh, and if anybody can fill that theater, we know you will. Thanks. I hope we'll see you guys there. That'd be great. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Our next item, then, is the uh, Council Minutes of April the 14th. I have a motion. Motion. Councillor Manuel, seconded by Councillor Vague. Any corrections? All those in favor? That is carried. Whoa. Press the button. <laughs> Regional Councillor. You can vote for him too. <laughs> that is carried. We do have correspondence. Uh, item number six is with respect to a request for a proclamation 
that May uh, 5th, 2014 be Melanoma Monday in the town of Newmarket and that the Riverwalk Commons be illuminated orange from 8.45 p.m. on uh, Monday, May the 5th. I'm going to have a motion with respect to those recommendations. Councillor Sponga moving. Councillor Twinney seconded. Councillor Sponga wish to speak to the motion? Uh, no. Okay, Councillor Twinney, same. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Councillor Sponga? Councillor Twinney. Thank you. That is carried. Item number seven is correspondence as well, and is also with respect to a request for a proclamation. And the proclamation is that May 9th be recognized by the municipality as National Day of Honor to bring awareness of the Government of Canada's efforts to mark the end of our country's military mission in Afghanistan. Can I have a motion with respect to the recommendations, please? Councillor DiMuccio. Councillor Hampton. Wish to speak to that, Councillor DiMuccio, as the mover? Uh, Your, your microphone, Councillor? Okay, go ahead. Thank you. No, I, I think this is wonderful. Um, I think this is a, uh, I think the, certainly the, the troops deserve to have our praise, and I think this is a wonderful motion and a great day. So thank you. Thank you. And Councillor Sponga? No, Councillor Hempen, did you wish to speak to it as the seconder? No, that's fine, thank you. Straightforward, okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Councillor Twinney? Okay, thank you. That is carried. Regional reports. Regional Councillor? Uh, thanks very much. Uh, just a couple of things I'll uh, highlight the, this, uh, this week. Uh, York Region Council um, in the past council meeting endorsed a, endorsed a process where we're now uh, inputting into a provincial review of uh, land use plans. Uh, just so people understand better, the province is going through a, a uh, review of the Greenbelt Plan, the Oak Ridges Moraine Conservation Plan, and the Places to Grow, the Growth Plan for the Greater Golden Horseshoe. Uh, staff has been uh, at the region has been uh, putting uh, inputting uh, significantly into this process to make sure that uh, regional uh, considerations are are given uh, thought throughout this uh, by the province, including highlighting the the, the need to, for provincial infrastructure in relationship with the Growth Plan policies, uh, the need for meeting the need for strategic employment lands in the longer term and also making sure that locating of community services and facilities appropriately along with the, the growth and the growth plan. Um, those are just some high level comments that there's much more detail in terms of the input that's going into the process, but it is a, a very important uh, process that's going on in, at uh, the province in the next, uh, next uh, year or so in review of these important documents. Uh, and it's important that uh, the, the regional perspective is shared on that as I know the municipal perspective is being shared as well. Uh, the other thing I thought I'd just quickly share is that we, uh, we get high, uh, reviews at the region in the committee I chair, uh, um, uh, and, and it, this uh, latest review is a growth and development review of 2013. Uh, it's got some interesting data in it, and it can be, uh, can be found on the region's website for those who are interested in looking into this more detail, but uh, the, this was uh, just uh, this past May it came out, and it, right now the total residents for York Region is 1,130,400 residents and that was 21,800 new residents in 2013. It also looks at the, uh, the state of the economy and, and the state of uh, re the real estate in the region, and in fact, the economy globally, this report does. But uh, some interesting uh, uh, stats I thought I'd share was that the average resale price uh, in 2013 increased by 5.5% in the region. For all types of housing, the average resale price in the region is now 623,000. That's resale as opposed to new builds. Um, and uh, for a single detached resale, so the average resale of a home in York Region that's a single detached standalone home, the average price is 737374 And that was a 5% increase that I referred to. Uh, the uh, average resale prices in York Region are almost 20% higher than the GTA average. Uh, that obviously leads to great challenges in the, in the region in terms of affordability, and those are being wrestled with all the time. Though one thing I can say, uh, that's, uh, that uh, does help in that uh, sense is that the housing stock is continuing to diversify. So this year, this year uh, we're seeing uh, increase all the time. Put it this: in 2001, 75% of all housing stock in the region was single house, single-family houses. 
Um, now in 2013, 66% are single family houses and the remainder is multiple. By 2031, they're expecting that ratio to be almost 50-50 and of course, multiple unit housing forms, whether it's uh, condos, rentals or townhomes are typically more affordable. Uh, so uh, that, that is changing and hopefully providing some affordability. There's a great deal of other information there for those who are interested and uh, you can find it on the region's website or contact uh, my office. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any questions? Next item then is the uh, Special Committee of the Whole of April the 14th. Councillor Kerwin seconded. Councillor Vague. Any discussion? All those in favour? That is carried. Next item is the Special Committee of the Whole closed session of April the 14th. Could I ask that the minutes be approved? Okay. Councillor Manuel, Councillor Sponga, all those in favour? That is carried. With respect to those minutes, there were two items on the agenda. Uh, and if the first item was a verbal update from the Chief Administration Officer regarding our post-secondary uh, education and the update, was, the update was received. The second item was with respect to a verbal update that we received regarding the Marianaville Developments Limited and the matter that was before the Ontario Municipal Board. And the information that was received, the information was received and staff was directed to schedule a special committee of the whole meeting in advance of the Ontario Municipal Board hearing, and that was arranged on April the 22nd. That's good. Thank you. Okay. Next item then is special committee of the whole minutes of April 22nd. Could I have a motion, please, to approve those minutes as well? Councillor DiMuccio. Councillor Twinney, all those in favour? Oh, is there a correction? Councillor DiMuccio. Um, thank you. No, I, I, I just uh, wanted to speak on one of the items that we carried. Um, I had asked uh, for council, and I wanted to thank council, in particular Councillor Emanuel, for seconding the motion um, that uh, this council organize, or we are directing staff to organize a public meeting after the OMB released their decision, um, uh, and within this term of council, on what we had learned on the official plan amendment and the zoning bylaw amendment and the draft plan of the subdivision for Marionville development, uh, developments out of the Glenway process and the effects of, of future development as uh, York Region prepares for growth. Thank you. Thank you. Any other comments? All those in favor? And it's and that is carried. Thank you. And we have the uh, special committee, the whole closed session for April 22nd. Could I ask, did we just deal with that? Twenty second. That was the uh, open session. That was the open. Now we're dealing with the closed session. Could I have a motion to approve the closed session minutes, please? Sure. Councillor Kerwin, Councillor Vig. All those in favour? And that is carried. With respect to the meeting of April 22nd, the closed session, we did receive a verbal update from the Chief Administration Officer, uh, and we received a video on the town's uh, proposal with respect to the university, uh, and that was presented to uh, members of council. Although Newmarket was unsuccessful in its proposal for the university, we're proud of our efforts, uh, and at the appropriate time, uh, we will be putting the proposal video uh, on the town's website. Uh, we're proud of what our community offers, and, uh, and it's good for our residents to see uh, that proposal as well. Next item then is the Committee of the Whole Minutes of April the 28th. Are there any items that members wish to deal with separately? 
Councilor DiMuccio. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I just had a question about new business. Your question is with respect to new business? Um, just, uh, well, I noticed um, if you turn to page 52 under new business of that meeting, um, uh, it's great to see that uh, there are more thorough notes taken from staff about the agenda, but um, I did believe, I do believe I did ask a question about making certain details public on the university land acquisition, and this council uh, and staff told this council that that was not um, something that they were going to do. I, I just don't see that on under new business. Mm -hmm. That was one of the questions I asked. Okay. And I'm asking the clerk to include that. Mr. Clerk? Mr. Mayor, I believe that con uh, that uh, minute is reflected in the item itself actually, you know, earlier in the agenda. Um, the discussion of the of item 34. What page is that? Item number, item number 34. Nope. 43. Item number 43. Oh, no, that sorry. was about the soccer club. Item number no. 43. Oh, no, that's the soccer club. I think this was with respect to the particulars oh, in the university. of the university mm -hmm. item. Mm -hmm. Don't see Update regarding the university campus bid item number 51. Well, I mean, I, I understand that, Mr. Mayor, but judging at how thorough, how every, everything else is thorough on this, I don't see that question, and I believe that that was certainly part of the... Um, one of the items that I brought up under new business, okay. there were two. Yeah. If, Mr. If, uh, if the um, uh, councillor would like, I can, the minutes can um, be amended to, to reflect that, that language. Yep, that's certainly. all I asked for. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Any other items that we wish to deal with uh, separately under the minutes? Councillor Sponga? Um, we'd like to speak to that item. Sorry, no, we can speak to individual items. We could pull items, so right? Item Okay, so we'll we'll deal with new business. So we'll speak to that as well then. Okay, so we'll deal with new business and the corrections on the new business. Okay, any other items that we want to pull? Item twelve. Okay. Item number twelve. Yeah, just brief. Okay, and new business starts at item number forty-two. Okay. Any other items to be dealt with separately? Okay, the balance of the items. Seconded by Councillor Sponga. Any discussion? All those in favor? Let's wait for the motion to show up on our monitors there. Having a look at the motion, I, I see that the minutes be approved. Received and approved, excluding item number 12 in new business. Okay. And that was moved by? Councillor Kerwin and Councillor Sponga. So we're waiting for that to show up in the monitor. Okay. All those in favor? That is carried. So we'll deal with item number. Well, first, Council, I have a motion with respect to item number 12. Uh, move the recommendations from staff, Mr. Mayor. Okay. Is there a seconder for the recommendations? Thank you, Councilor, you, Kerwin. Uh, Councilor Kerwin. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. This briefly is uh, just a request from the uh, Lower Main Street Business Improvement Association to, uh, and it's a bit, um, it, and the reason why I want to speak to it is just to clarify it. It, it asks uh, to um, um, install some uh, wheels on some of the uh, big barrels. Um, the beautiful flower barrels that our staff uh, provide uh, Main Street with uh, during the spring and summer. Um, it actually, and I had a chance to speak with uh, Parks uh, about this, it's actually uh, the, the Main Street Business Association asking staff that if there's an opportunity to utilize those wonderful uh, flower arrangements uh, for street closures, uh, there's a number of beautiful, uh, great events that are occurring now uh, downtown. And um, um, the merchants are welcoming all the wonderful events, and I know they're planning on some pedestrian days as well through the summer. And so, rather than big construction barricades that look exactly like construction barricades, they would like uh, to see some uh, uh, nice flower arrangements and utilize those beautiful 
uh, flower pots perhaps to close the street uh, um, uh, to symbolize the celebrations that are taking place during those wonderful events, Mr. Mayor. I just wanted to clarify that. Thank okay. you. Okay, that staff will be reviewing that request. That's being referred to staff. Okay, Councillor Kerwin? That's fine. That's fine. Any further discussion? All those in favor? And that is carried. Thank you. And going to new business, Councillor DiMuccio has requested that the, under new business, that, that a request with respect to the particulars of the post-secondary education be reflected in the minutes. Is that correct? Did anyone else want to speak to that then? Okay, then could I have a motion to receive the new business as amended? To approve new business as amended then with the request. Okay. Councillor DiMuccio, seconded by Councillor Emanuel. Any discussion? All those in favor? That is carried. I believe that deals with all of the items in the April 28th Committee of the Whole. We have bylaws, bylaws number 2014-23 through to 2014-28. Mr. Clerk. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, bylaw 2014-23 is a bylaw to amend the parking bylaw, and that's with respect to parking restrictions on Millard Avenue. Bylaw 2014-24 is uh, a bylaw uh, related to our parking bylaw with restrictions on Rennie Avenue. Bylaw 2014-26 is an exemption from our noise bylaw, and that's to facilitate the Canadian Cancer Society's Relay for Life event on May the 30th. Bylaw 2014-27 is the procurement bylaw. And bylaw 2014-28 is a zoning bylaw amendment related to national homes. And all of these items uh, come out of discussions at Committee of the Whole. Correct. And the specific references are shown on the agenda. Uh, does anyone wish to have any of these bylaws dealt with separately? Could I have a mover for the bylaws? Yes. Councillor Sponga, Councillor Emanuel, Councillor Sponga. Wish to speak to any of them? All those in favor? Any opposed? And that is carried. Thank you. Notices of motion. <coughs> Being none, announcements and community events. We'll start with Councillor Vay. Thank you. Um, as uh, members of council and, and certainly members of Ward 1 know, uh, every month on the first Tuesday of every month, I have a Ward 1 community drop-in at the Magnus Centre from about 7, from 7 in the evening till, till 9. Um, this uh, drop-in, which will be tomorrow on May 6, is, is going to be a special information session about uh, the New Market and Ward 1 trail system um, and looking at our town-wide trail plan, including a new trail connections from uh, Ward 1 to our main trail system. Um, town staff will be on hand to answer questions and and uh, certainly take any um, suggestions and receive suggestions from the public. So I do uh, invite all uh, members of Ward 1 to, all residents of Ward 1 to come out tomorrow at the Magnus Centre um, from 7 to 9 p.m. to get an, uh, an update on our trail system and how the impact on Ward 1. Uh, so second thing I'd like to mention is, and, uh, and I imagine this applies to all the town, but I am speaking to residents of Ward 1. Um, we as residents of the town, uh, we're, we're kind of the eyes and ears of our, our community. And if you see something, if you spot something that requires the town's attention, um, please do bring it to our attention, particularly after this uh, very difficult winter that we've had. There has been damage to trees in our parks, or being damaged to our sidewalks, uh, et cetera. So if you do spot something in our community, please bring it to our attention. You can just, through email, contact us through customer service at newmarket.ca. And if it's something in Ward 1 that you particularly want my particular attention on, uh, please contact me um, either by email, tomvague at gmail.com, or you can give me a call at my home, 905-895-7095. Thank you very much. And that's all I have for uh, Ward 1 tonight. Thank you. Councillor Kerwin. 
Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Yes, uh, this is a real pleasure for me. Uh, join us on Sunday, May the 25th, for the Upper Canada Mall Easter Seals Run Walkathon, founded by Joe Persicini. Help celebrate 38 years of fundraising to help kids with physical disabilities. The event takes place at Newmarket Riverwalk Commons, 200 Doug Duncan Drive. There is a post-race party with food for athletes and games and activities for the whole family. Draw prizes are available to be won by all participants. Uh, more details are available at www.eastersealsrun.com. And uh, just a note, Mr. Mayor, uh, on Joe Persicini, he started this a long time ago, 38 years ago, and I think there were about 25 of us. We ran at that time to, uh, to Bradford, and over the years, uh, this organization has literally raised millions of dollars and it would not have happened without uh, a man of, uh, of esteem as Joe Persicini, and uh, I'm proud to be associated with him, and I will certainly be there. Uh, also, Mr. Mayor, on Saturday we had the 36th Holland River cleanup, and it was really well attended, and uh, I must say, if we missed a few items, uh, we'll come back and uh, have a look at them the rest of the week. Also, on the 17th of May, I have my... Uh, uh, meeting with uh, Ward and uh, anyone who wants to come from across the, the town at the library downstairs. Um, this will be my, my last meeting. I'm not having one this Saturday as there are the uh, baseball commences and I have the Bogart uh, cleanup and we have the, uh, the MS and there's, uh, there's a fourth event, uh, Neighborhood Network Tree Planting. So um, I have to skip the morning of the 10th, but I'll be there on the 17th. Other than that, Mr. Mayor, no further announcement. Thank you. Councillor Twitty. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor, and I, thank you, Councillor Crowan. I think I remember, actually, I was uh, 12 when that first ran, run ran. I think it was from Pickering College, and I remember uh, running in that race. So uh, thank you for bringing that up. Um, Smart Commute Central York is excited to be hosting its eighth annual Bike to Work Day event on Monday, May 26. Drop by the Newmarket Riverwalk Commons from 7.45 to 9 a.m. at 200 Doug Duncan Drive. There will be free continental breakfast and giveaways. Get active, save money, and produce zero emissions. Pledge to bike to work, pledge to bike to work at www.biketoworkday.ca and enter a draw for prizes. Uh, another event that's taken place that's very true to, very close to my heart is the, this coming Saturday is the Newmarket Baseball Parade. This will be my son's sixth year since he, um, since he's been playing baseball in his life, playing uh, in the parade. The parade takes place starting at 9 a.m. Saturday. It uh, goes up to Timothy Street to the fairgrounds for the opening pitch. Please come out and support all these players. It's a, a wonderful sight to see all these guys all dressed up in their baseball gear. Uh, parading up the street towards the fairgrounds and uh, there, uh, there's games that will be played uh, hopefully with the weather being nicer at the, uh, at the fairgrounds that day. Thank you. Regional Councillor. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, the Town of Newmarket is developing our, our recreation master plan. This has been ongoing for some time and we've been seeking a lot of feedback and trying to get the community engaged in this process. Uh, we're, it's referred to as uh, developing our playbook uh, for our community in the long term. This is going to help uh, us identify what we're doing well and how we can improve our recreation programming. So tell us what you think and participate in this process. Uh, let us know about what you think uh, we're doing well, what things you think uh, we could do better, uh, different trends you see in the future for recreation in our community. So visit uh, www.newmarket.ca and complete a survey there and obtain more dates and all the recreation playbook events uh, upcoming. Uh, we really do appreciate your input. Uh, also, um, just uh, uh, Councillor Kerwin alluded to it, but I want to mention that Saturday, May the 10th, is the Neighbourhood Network's annual spring tree planting day. It's from 9.30 to 12.30 p.m., and it's uh, in partnership with the Town of Newmarket. Uh, this uh, site is on Bayview Parkway or on Patterson uh, Street. It's uh, parking is at Bayview Parkway lot west of Elgin Street, north of Leslie Valley Drive. If you want more information on that, please contact Aaron at Neighbourhood Networks at 905-726-3737. Finally, uh, Wednesday. This Wednesday is McDonald's McHappy Day. This is an important event in the community, and it's a fun event in the community where McDonald's raises funds for the Ronald McDonald House. Uh, this is a national organization that provo provides homes near medical facilities for seriously ill children and their family. I know uh, many members of this council and councils uh, all over the place go out and try to support this day uh, in, uh, in the community and uh, across the province and beyond. And so I, 
uh, drop by if you want to uh, see me attempting to help out at uh, the McDonald's on Eagle Street uh, at uh, 9 in the morning on Wednesday, May the 7th. Thanks. Thank you. Councillor Hepburn. Thank you. Um, my community announcement is regarding the Heritage Art Program contest. Um, and the deadline is this Wednesday at May, uh, this Wednesday, May 7, 2014. Uh, registration forms and entry rules regarding the 15th Annual Heritage Art Program Contest are now available in the Recreation and Culture Department at 395 Mulock Drive and online at www.newmarket.ca. To be eligible to participate, the subject of the artwork must focus on the heritage of the town of Newmarket. The deadline again for the submissions is before 4 p.m. this Wednesday, May 7th, uh, 2014. For further information, you can call 905-895-5193 or email lburwash at newmarket.ca. That's L-B-U-R-W-A-S-H at newmarket.ca for further information. Thank you. Thank you. Councillor Sponga. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, thank the residents that attended um, um, our April 25th uh, Ward 5 meeting. Uh, it was uh, very well attended. It, it was um, um, the meeting with the most attendance that I've uh, ever had uh, in 10 years. Uh, and I must say, uh, the residents kept me on my toes for a good two and a half hours. So uh, uh, thank you very much uh, for coming out and asking a lot of good questions and uh, providing a lot of good uh, suggestions and uh, solutions um, to our community. Um, I also uh, want to um, thank um, all the residents that attended um, uh, the MS um, uh, walk um, this past Sunday, uh, May 4th at Community Center and, Doug Duncan, uh, and uh, Lions Halls at 200 Doug Duncan Drive. Uh, it was incredible turnout. And um, as uh, honorary chair of um, of MS for York North, uh, I'd like to recognize the fact that uh, two residents of Newmarket, our chair and vice chair, both uh, um, Marianne Slattery and uh, uh, Nicole Armstrong, who uh, made the presentation just um, uh, this past month in front of this council, uh, were recognized by um, MS um, Walk Canada uh, for the most improved uh, walk in Canada. Um, so um, uh, kudos uh, to that organization and uh, of course um, we will continue um, to uh, take pledges if you haven't had a chance to pledge uh, for the next month or so. Um, so we're looking uh, for your support and what truly is a, a Canadian uh, illness because uh, um, we are the country with uh, most cases um, of MS um, in the world. Um, I also uh, would like uh, to announce that on Saturday, May 10th, Bring your mom um, to the Elman Campbell Museum at 134 Main Street South for a Victorian Mother's Day tea. Um, enjoy an old-fashioned afternoon in a historical setting hosted by the Friends of the Museum. Uh, there are two sittings available, one at uh, 1 p.m. and one at 2.30 p.m. Tickets are $10 and must be purchased at the museum in advance. Uh, please call 905-953-5314 for further details and what a great surprise it would be for your mom. So um, let's do that and I'll take this opportunity to wish all the moms out there and at this table, happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Councillor DiMuccio. Thank you very much, Jim Sponga. Mothers can't be appreciated enough. Um, the 2000, good evening, the 2000 uh, street <coughs> sweeping program, as most of you know, is underway. The sweeper will remove the buildup of water, sand, and debris on the streets from the winter months. And residents are asked uh, to refrain from parking on the street between 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. And this is to ensure that the sweeper has a clear path to perform this work and to avoid forming piles at the curb line. Uh, the sweeping will take approximately three to four weeks to complete and will be starting at the north end of the town and it concludes at the south end. Uh, we thank residents in advance for their patience as the sweeping crews make their way throughout town. And if you need any more information, please feel free to call us at 905-895-5193. Thank you. Thank you. Councillor Emanuel. Mr. Mayor, uh, just a reminder that uh, we've got a uh, low-cost uh, vaccination uh, a rabies clinic uh, on Sunday, uh, May 25th from 10 till 2 at the Hollingsworth Arena. Uh, the cost is $20. Cats and dogs must be over three months of age. Cats must be in a carrier and dogs must be leashed. Um, and also just per Bob Barker, just remember to have your cats uh, and dogs spayed and neutered. Uh, please call 895-5193 for info. 
Thank you. This year marks the 190th year for Trinity United Church in Newmarket, and yesterday I attended a special service in the celebration of this very significant milestone. So on behalf of members of council and the citizens of the town of Newmarket, I want to congratulate Trinity United Church on their 190th anniversary. Uh, also, uh, the Character Community Awards were last Wednesday night, and uh, the town of Newmarket had 15 nominees in eight different categories. The categories included citizens of character, and that included elementary students, secondary students, uh, young adults, adults and seniors. It also included schools, both public and Catholic schools. It included educators. It included the arts. It included sports organizations. It included business people. And it included profit and not-for-profit organizations, as well as the special awards for the Don Cousins Award, and that was awarded to Neighborhood Networks. Uh, and uh, a local heroes award, and that was awarded to Colton and Luke Rybuck, who saved the life of an elderly gentleman from a fire, a house fire in uh, in Oak Ridges. As well, the Easter Seal uh, Carnival will be on at the Upper Canada Mall this weekend, and uh, the proceeds will be donated to the Easter Seal Society and uh, to South Lake Regional Health Centre. I think they're divided equally. Uh, and uh, Councillor Sponga had. Uh, uh, recognized the achievements of Marianne Slatterly and the MS team, but uh, this team was also uh, one of the groups that were nominees for the Character Community Awards in terms of what they had been able to accomplish. Uh, the town offices will be closed on uh, May the 19th to celebrate Victoria Day, and the next council meeting is Monday, May the 26th. New business. I'll go to the queue for that. Councillor Twinney. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, just an item of new business that I want to bring up tonight. Uh, as many of you are aware, the province of Ontario will be having a provincial election on Thursday, June the 12th. And as I'm the candidate for the Ontario PC Party of Ontario, I have decided that I need to take the next time in the next few weeks to focus on my campaign. To do this, I believe that I need to take a leave of absence from my council duties, which includes attending any meetings that I will take place in the next six weeks leading up to the election. I also feel that while I'm on this leave, it is only correct not to be paid for this time period. I want to ensure that my residents will have any concerns addressed, although I will not be answering any emails through my Town of Newmarket official uh, phone lines or emails. Please ensure that my executive assistant, which is the executive assistant of all members of council, Darlene Murray, will direct any issues to the appropriate people at the town of Newmarket to any of the staff members. Um, so Darlene can be reached at dmurray at newmarket.ca or 905-953-5300, extension 2029. Thank you. Thank you. Any other items of new business? Being none, then, the confirmatory bylaw, 2014-29, Councillor Sponga, Councillor Emanuel. Any discussion? All those in favour? Need to wait for the monitor. Councillor Emanuel, Councillor Sponga. Okay. All those in favour? That is carried. Councillor Kerwin. I'll set them together on the table. Councillor Sponga. Any discussion? All those in favor? And that is, Councillor Kerwin, that is unanimous. That's carried. Thank you. an appropriate 